The gentleman of one life to live. Now, I, I, my question to you is, if I told you my name was Tina, would you break into a sweat? I said, hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> oh, hey, boy, how you doing? And you, sir. You uh, told me you were Tina? Uh -huh. <laughs> Drop you. <laughs> Drop me. And if I told you I was I Tina? Mean, well, as long as this desk is covering my hand, I don't have to tell you anymore. <laughs> you devil. Channel 5 presents The Good Days of Our Lives, an up-close and personal look at your favorite soap stars. Starring Eileen Prose, Walt Willie, Elaine Princey, Robert Tyler, and Noel Beck. And now, ladies and gentlemen, meet Eileen Prose. <laughs> Special edition of Good Day coming your way this morning. Uh, let me ask you first: Who thinks they're the biggest soap fanatic in the audience? <laughs> Why? I just want to know everything. What's going on? <laughs> just you love it. Live vicariously yes. through them. Who tapes? Who tapes? <laughs> <laughs> you tape? Three hours every day. And what do you do at night? You watch? You sit down and watch? I them? don't watch everything. I fast forward. You fa who else tapes? <laughs> Who th you tape them all? Tape them all and then watch them all night and watch you at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> Sew and make quilts. Oh, that's terrific. All right, are you excited? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's meet and greet our stars this morning. I think you'll find the next hour fun, even if you're not a soap fan, because we've got some behind-the-scenes pieces that I think you'll really enjoy. When I was down in New York getting ready to do uh, a bit part in One Life to Live that actually airs today at 2 o'clock, and it was a lot of fun. So we'll be showing you some of that behind the scenes work. But first, let me introduce some of daytime's hottest stars. From all my children, he plays the charming lawyer entrepreneur Jackson Montgomery. Welcome, Walt Willie. <laughs> most exciting characters, Dory and Lord Callison from One Life to Live, Elaine Princey. <laughs> and from Loving, he plays the hot-blooded hero, Trucker McKenzie, and she plays Trisha Alden, Robert Tyler, and Noel Beck. <laughs> you getting together? Have you ever met before? Any of you? Have you met before? Oh, of course. Well, you have met before. No, I haven't. No, I have met Robert and... Uh, and Noel? And Noel. Yeah. Have you ever worked together before? I mean, those of you that are from different shows? No, you haven't, huh? Mm, not except for, like, on personal appearances and stuff Yeah, like because that. you do a lot of that. All right, let's start with you. I mean, you had a rough day yesterday. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he look that bad? <laughs> Left at the altar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happy about it, huh? Not real broke up, no. No? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jackson is. Jackson's off to where? I think he's having a little, a little rest, but where? Paris. Thank you. Paris. We all know. Yes, Paris, and just so you know where Paris is in Pine Valley, it's down at this end of the studio. <laughs> Amazing what they can do, huh? Fascinating. Did you kill Michael? I don't know who did. I mean, I very, I could have. I, we all had a moment, and this is, this is the funny thing, and I must tell you honestly, for the first time on a TV talk show, I've been able to be honest with you. I don't know. Nobody except the writers and the producer know. All and right. that's the truth. It really is the truth. Uh, what I do know is, is that we have some family members of yours here this morning. This, yeah. Almost this entire row, right <laughs> up to that good-looking gentleman over there. How are you related to Elaine? I married her cousin. You did. Are you glad? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Not left at the altar. No, no. it doesn't happen in real life. Uh -huh. And how about you? And I'm her cousin. You are? Yes. And where do you live? We live 
Hamilton. In Hamilton? Are you in Hamilton too? Yes, but I'm a friend of the Princess. You're a friend. Yeah. Okay, and I can't reach you guys. I'm going to come over here though. How are you related? I'm her cousin. And you're proud of her. My dad. And you're. And I'm, <laughs> I'm her uncle. Her uncle. This is great that you came down. What do you think of what she does on the show, as Dorian? Well. She's taking too long, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because the character is so much different than Elaine, um, uh, I think she does her part excellently. She does, yeah. She really plays it well. Six months you've been on <laughs> she now, better right? Say she that. better say that. You <laughs> Six months you've been on. You enjoying it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it because it's, as uh, the audience is probably know, I usually play the classic bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> And for the first time, I'm playing an evil woman with a sense of humor, and I really like that. That is great. Yeah. What's going on in your little cabin, you two? We have a bed now. <laughs> you have a bed now. <laughs> We've been on a sleeping bag for the past year, and finally we got a bed. They extended our cabin, a bathtub. Hard to, to do me... love scenes in a sleeping bag, huh? Very Robert? difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. Uh, we watch you scrubbing floors, learning how to clean. <laughs> burning shirts. Yeah, burning shirts. Burning food. Yeah, it's a wonderful plot line. The girl with all the money marries the right. guy from the other side of the tracks. I think there are going to be lots of problems. You do? Who yeah. has questions? Who has questions about the plot? What do you want to know? I mean, you're watching them and taping them. You must have questions. Which one do you watch? I see a flurry of hands going Yeah, up. I know. Did you see that? <laughs> Thank you. Which one do you watch? Which soap? Uh, the first fellow there. You watch All My Children? Yeah, All My Children. Do you have a question about it? Uh, do you anything you want to know? No. I want to know why you'd get involved with Erica in the first place. I mean, yeah. that's my question. You, I know, I love Susan Lucci, Well, you Lucci, know, but... when, uh, when Jackson first came to town, he didn't have a date for almost a year and a half. Um, <laughs> I was starting to look at Myrtle. You know, come on, baby, close up the routine. Let's <laughs> mean you get a drink, you know. Uh, so, listen, I was, I was happy to, uh, as my first involvement, to be involved with uh, Susan Lucci's Erica Cade. It was uh, That was all right, options. huh? He she went right heard. to the top. Right to the top. She's a great lady. What's your question? The one who plays Ava, mm -hmm. is she coming back? Unloving. Unloving. Roya Menyo uh, was the first Ava, and then Lisa Peluso. Um, Lisa Peluso is returning. Oh, she, is she is. Now, Ava's not a terrific lady, right? She's such a fun character, yeah. She, she she's, is. She's, she's, she's a very mixed up woman. <laughs> and now she's suffering from a real life dilemma. Isn't this right? Her mother has cancer, has yes. her chemotherapy. And right. it's right. good to portray that. You think it'll be portrayed well in the writing? I mean, realistically? People are responding to it very well. Um, you know, we've had a lot of letters about that, that, that it's really hitting home, and they're handling it very, I think, um, very well. Well, I mean, who hasn't actress, been touched by it? So. Right. The actress, Nada Rowan, who plays Kate, is fantastic. You like her, oh, huh? She She's very good. She does a real good job, and I love bringing it home and the reality that they bring into her role. Right. It's really good. Do you have a question? I think Dorian's doing a great job taking over the old role. Oh, Because it's hard. You. That's got to be the hardest thing in the show. That's nice. That's good. <laughs> this question is for Jackson. For Jackson. You, you made reservations to Paris for two. I just wondered who the other person was going to be. <laughs> you and me both, lady. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, asked Natalie, and she turns me down. Well, she knew you were on the rebound. And then uh, I meet some little French girl on the plane, actually, is what happens, and uh, she turns me down. <laughs> You're not having sex. I don't know what the hell it is with me, frankly. I, Robert, I go back to Myrtle. <laughs> talk about some of the realities of acting. You moved to New York from... Right. From California? Yes. And no job. And you did all of what what were your best jobs? Trying to get it become a I don't know. Actor? My best jobs, my best jobs. I, I had a number of different odd jobs. I'm sure everybody everybody is when they first come to the city, but uh, I used to do everything from busing tables to working in uh, Radio City to working in Bloomingdale's. Radio City doesn't, requisite. doesn't sound bad. I mean, you did have that the Rockettes. That was pretty interesting, actually. I did have the Rockettes. Yeah. <laughs> you did? <laughs> when, well, not all of them. But, but what is interesting I mean, is... How many of the Rockettes did you have? <laughs> Robert, <laughs> maybe I should know about this. You should know about this. I'll tell you what, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll find out about this. And we'll also show you a bit of behind the scenes of One Life to Live. I mean, uh, soaps are alike in some ways and different in others. I don't know how the set is for you, Walt, or for you, Robert Noel, but One Life has got a great cast of folks, and you're about to see some funny stuff. We'll be back, and then we have another surprise for someone in the audience before the show is over. Yes, hold on to your hats. We'll be right back. <laughs> The